Today is day one of our hardcore BBBE reset, which means we're only eating beef or bison, bacon, butter, and eggs. And you guys, I have an old BBBE bread recipe that I'm gonna omit one key ingredient to make it fit our strict reset. So come on you guys, let's get this day started. Good morning everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Lovey Made on Keto. For those of you who are brand new, go watch our video that we did yesterday about uh, that we had a confession to make. Harry will link it at the end. You can click on that. But we have decided to do a reset for seven days and we are doing a hardcore BBBE or carnivore reset. And that means that we are eating only bison or beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. But I like variety. And so I've decided, I have an old BBBE bread recipe that I've done that I've pinned and linked and everything else, but I'm gonna omit one of the key ingredients in that to make it fit the hardcore BBBE recipe. I'm gonna pin it to the top of the comments above and I'm gonna share that recipe with everybody today because I want toast and butter on this protocol. I can have a bacon, a toasted bacon sandwich, a toasted bacon and egg sandwich. I can have a bacon and um, beef hamburger, right? I can change up things in the next seven days, stay hardcore, stay on track, and yet have delicious food to eat. And that's important. You know, we, we need to have something that tastes good to us that also heals our body. And that's what I'm trying to do. Now, before I get into that, I wanna preface all and thank you all for sharing all of your comments I truly appreciate it and so many of you have fallen into the same boat and jumped in our boat and now we're doing a lifeboat you guys and we're throwing out life preservers to everybody and we're gonna reel you in and we're gonna do this together and that's because of all the keto keto fied foods snacks treats that we are doing and we're we're measuring net carbs which has not worked for so many of you some of you it has a lot of you it has not so come on you guys we're gonna do this together yes indeed now one thing i do want to premise we're gonna put some egg white protein powder in our bread but it needs to have egg whites only so harry if you come here ingredients right here say egg white powder now this is the Now brand. You have to be careful when you buy egg white protein powder from Now because they have several different ones. They have other ingredients in them besides the egg white powder if you're not getting the plain one from them. So make sure you're still reading all the labels. There's other ones out there um, that you can get in bulk, etc. But make sure if you're doing this strict protocol that you're only using one that says egg white protein powder only. So you guys, I'm gonna get set up, but I wanted to share a cute apron that I bought at the Shady Lady. Oh, Harry just reminded me, you guys, we did our blood uh, pricking finger time this morning to get a baseline, and we're gonna insert it right here. It's finger pricking time, it's finger pricking time. Yeah, yeah. First finger pricking <clears throat> of our new protocol did you put thing in here no yes i got a new lancet in there okay. i knew everything in there glucose so that's my glucose now i'm going to get my ketone since i have to get a new one because i boo-booed i just woke up you got a 0.5 you're going to write these things okay that's keto way? Yeah, I wanted a little board. Is that me? No, that's me. I may have to. I may have to. Yep. 
Pluck it again, Sam. We got a 123. That's your glucose. And a 0.5. Ketones. My glucose was 106. I got it. That's super high. This is my ketones. 0 0.2. 0.2. So I beat you on that, and you beat me on the other. Yeah. Well, that's where we be right now. No, it's hard to understand, but it's my chicken scratching. Just for notes. We're going to do that on a daily basis for seven days so we can track it, so we can see our results. We're going to weigh in every day. We're not going to give the weight until the end of seven days, but we're weighing and tracking everything, including our macros and carb manager. I'm going to get the recipe and put into my recipes. I'm going to get the macros and everything down at the bottom. So if you follow the recipe exactly, you should have the same macros so that you can measure and enter that as well. But when we went to Tombstone, we went to one of my favorite stores called the Shady Lady. And I, this, this apron was on their statue and I made them, it's an apron and a spatula set. So this spatula was in the apron, right? So I got my spatula, which we need to wash and I need to cut the tag off. But I thought it was really cute. Um, and so I bought this for me so that I have another apron. And what'd you pay for all that? I'll tell you in just a second. For this. not this and the uh, spatula that came with it, right? $15.99. So That's I got deal. it. And if you might be able to find it on Timu. I don't know. But it's Mud Pie is the company. And it's an apron and spatula. What a cute gift. I did for someone. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. I decided not to go pick up the prescription yet for my antibiotics. I'm trying to heal my sinuses on my own. And for long-term, long-time viewers, you guys know that I have more than just sinus issues. And the reason for that is, is I was born with malformed eustachian tubes and a hearing loss, 75% loss of hearing, almost totally deaf. I could read lips, I could shadow read lips. Um, I had surgery to help correct it and then they used radium treatments. They stuck silver rods up and burned tissue out of my sinus area. I have scarred and damaged sinus cavities and sinuses from that but the good news is, is I can hear. I also was born without a lower tear duct in one of my eyes and they had to fix that as well. I had more ear aches and drains and all kinds of things because my eustachian tubes are not, were not formed correctly as a child. So besides having allergies, I also have to deal with the ramifications of having radium up in my sinus cavities and I remember it very vividly having to sit there strapped in a chair strapped with my head and these rods put up in my head and feeling the burning How old of the radium. Were you, you I was almost three. Yeah. And I remember that. I can tell you my mom had a black dress on sitting there watching the whole thing. I can remember all of those things. Pretty tra traumatic for a child. And then I can remember them digging out hunks of like dried blood and all, I mean, I, I, all the details, I don't need to get into it, but I have had issues all my life. My mom was taking to me to allergists when I was little. I was told I was allergic to dust, feathers, you know, cheese, stay away from cheese, shellfish, dust, hair, and we had animals and everything else. And my mom just was like, you know, you're going to learn how to live with it because of, we had birds and feathers and dust and animals, you know? And so um, I've lived with it all my life. But when we moved here to Arizona uh, from Washington State, born and raised in Southern California, closer to the beach, we'd get the ocean winds. Um, and then Washington State, we lived on the Cascade Mountainside, which is the cold, wet 
side and because of the constant moisture it it, it kept stuff on the ground it it pulled um, the uh, pollen and such down to the ground faster. Let me tell you, when you have 51 fir trees on your property and they get so full of sticky yellow pollen, it sticks to everything and literally it, your windshield is covered with it, you know. Um, but then we moved here and I'm allergic to a lot of stuff here. So that's why I have more sinus issues than normal folks would have even with allergies. So I kind of wanted to give you just a little heads up on that. And I appreciate all your thoughts and all your comments and who to watch and all those things because as a community, if we share those things, if we share our, our, our troubles and what we do to fix it and who we're watching and, and how it benefited you, you may touch someone that's watching us and reading those comments and helping them get a healthier, better life because of it. So thank you so much for sharing, for caring enough to comment. We truly appreciate that. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up too because that puts us out into the algorithm where the YouTube, uh, Google will shove that out there for other people like you so they can find us and they can see us too. Anyway, got my apron on. <clears throat> I want to get my bread in the oven before I hop in the shower, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I want to get this set up, but basically, I'm going to be using whole egg whites, because I have two of these left, and I'm going to use about a cup. I'm going to use an egg where I'm going to separate the yolk from the egg white, use this egg white in the bottom of my uh, cup, and then pour the rest of the egg whites into that. I'm going to let this sit out and become room temp. I'm going to melt a tablespoon, a weighed tablespoon of Kerrygold butter, and I'm also going to put in a tablespoon of grass-fed, grass-finished organic beef gelatin. And I use the Zint one. I'll share that. Uh, the Zint one. And I'm also going to put in about a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. If you don't want to use cream of tartar, you can use vinegar or lemon juice. So I'm going to get all this set up for everyone. I'm going to get it all measured out. I'm going to get my butter melted and cooled. I'm going to get my egg um, room temp and then we're going to come back and we're going to make bread together. So you guys come back in the next segment when we make a BBBE carnivore bread. Yes indeed. Put my egg yolk, my whole egg, into my one cup measuring. Just take my egg out of there. If you don't like that part, you can get rid of it, but it's healthy for you, so. And then I'm just gonna put my egg yolk right there. Look how easy that is, you guys. So I'm gonna fill this up to a cup and let it sit out and get room temperature, but I wanted to show you how easy it is. If you're like me and I keep breaking eggs and popping my nails right into the egg yolk and bursting it, trying to use all the gadgets and stuff, just do it this way. It's so easy. Yeah, show them the, the Hold up the the white of the egg. Oh, yeah. Because that's so yeah. how you separated it. Yeah, I separated it. It's perfect and beautiful. Remember, you can't have any fats, and you have to have clean egg whites only in order for your eggs to whip to a stiff peak. Anyway, you guys, come back in just a little bit, and we'll get started. Now, in the past, I have made two or three versions of BBBE bread for everyone. So I'm calling this one BBBE Carnivore Bread version 1.0 just so that you're not confused with the version, regular version and the version 2.0 because I'm not using buttermilk powder or the powdered egg yolk and powdered butter. I'm using real. So basically here we go. So I'm putting in one cup a raw egg whites and that includes the egg white that I used to get my yolk from. So you just put that in the bowl. 
I am putting in a tablespoon of beef gelatin. I use Zint, it's glass fed, but you can use just regular Knox gelatin or whatever kind your grocery store has on the shelf. It's up to you. I get mine from Amazon. I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of Redmond Real Salt. Pink Himalaya salt works just as well, but I'm gonna use my Redmond Real Salt. Sprinkle that in. I am going to use a one quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. And if you can't have potassium because of uh, potassium sparing um, um, medication, use vinegar or lemon juice. That works just as well. I have one cup or 30 grams of egg white protein powder. I'm gonna put that in. And that's it so that we can do stiff peaks. But first I take my beater and I mix this all up. I found that by mixing my first ingredients in first, um, it beats better. Plus it mixes it and keeps anything from the bottom of the pan from sticking. Not good for the hands, however. I do this, you don't have to, depends on you. I just find that Kirkland egg whites aren't whipping as nicely as they should. Um, I've had mine for a while, so I just hope that this helps them beat better. I'm gonna bring this mixer over. I have my oven preheating at 325 degrees Fahrenheit, um, and I'm gonna keep that in there. Now, I'm gonna beat this on high until I have stiff peaks, then I'm gonna slowly add and I think I'm gonna mix these together. Oh, I gotta clean out some drawers, I'm getting too many tools. So I'm gonna take my egg yolk, I'm gonna make sure my butter is cool, and I'm just gonna mix these two together so I can add that at the end, slowly, once I have stiff peaks. You want to make sure your butter is cool or you will cook your egg. You don't want scrambled eggs in your bread. Okay, here we go. Let's turn this on high and we'll be back when it's stiff peaks, ready to add the yolk and the butter. I have stiff peaks, I'm gonna put it on low. I'm gonna add my yolk and butter. Slowly into the mix. area. Now I have two pans out. I wasn't sure which one I would need. I think I'm gonna, hmm. What's your hand doing? It's doing fine as far as uh, I took an naproxen last night and it really helped take down the inflammation. I don't like using it all the time, but I did take it last night and it really helped. And I took a Benadryl. Now you want to go in and you want to get that white. You can see it better in person where any white streaks where it's just the meringue. And just kind of whip it in. My Kirkland eggs are not whipping as nicely as they used to, and I don't know why. And I'm hearing that from some of you guys. So I'm gonna use my silicon pan. I'm not gonna spray it at all because it's smaller than my uh, nine by five large pan. I 
and I want a little taller loaf so I can make sandwiches. So probably fresh eggs would whip the best. And I've had these egg whites for several weeks, so that might be an issue too. Um, you know, you never can tell with store-bought uh, egg whites, because they're processed, they're more processed. They're, they're uh, ultra pasteurized here in the US. And I just think fresh is best, but if you don't have fresh, like I don't have chickens, um, then I would use what you can get. And I think it's cheaper. Now you can always omit the egg white protein powder and the raw eggs and just go with 120 grams of egg white protein powder, but that's even getting so expensive. I think it's cheaper just to use raw egg whites at this point. This goes in an oven and because I'm using my smaller pan, I'm only cooking it for 25 minutes on a preheated 325 oven. Then I'm gonna turn off my oven, crack it a little bit because electric ovens stay hotter longer. I don't wanna overcook my bread. I don't want it so um, overcooked that it's dry like sawdust in the mouth. So we'll come back when we have bread and I'll share. Cooked it for 25 minutes because it's a smaller pan. I cracked my oven as you can see. Harry forgot to turn on the lights. There's one over there too. And if you look at how I cracked my oven, I took one of my gloves and I cracked it and I left it in there for 10 minutes. When you are cooking with the raw eggs, you need to let it cool down gently. If you're just using egg white protein powder, you don't need to do that. Watch out, Harry. And I have got a beautiful loaf. Now remember, there's no allulose in here, so there's nothing to make it brown, which is fine because it's gonna taste delicious. Excuse me, dear. So I am going to, oh, I still need that. Put this little guy on. And this should slip right out. It had butter in it. Kind of want to pull the sides. There's your loaf. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool down. While it's cooling down, we are going to make our breakfast. It's 1.47. We woke up. We had our coffee. We had some bacon. Yes, we did. It was delicious. And now I'm going to make, I, I already measured the butter right there. I measured a tablespoon and blopped it in. We want to have a full stomach when we go to Costco. Always eat before you go to the market. Do not try to fast and then go to the grocery store. You can, that is, that is a huge red flag for Harry and I because pretty soon you're buying things you don't need that you want to eat. And that's not a good thing. Harry, why don't you move over? Let me put this here. So while that is cooling off, because we're going to have toast with butter on it, of course. I want to measure out my beef. This is beef. This is not bison. Harry cooked it last night. And uh, so I want to measure. I love this XO, XO scale because I can actually pull it. If my hands would work pretty well for me. Away so I ha can measure in a pan, right? Notice how I'm quiet today. Before I do that, I want to share with you guys. This bread right here, 12 slices, macros per slice, calories are 37 calories, 0 0.5 total carbs, 1.3 grams of fat, 5.3 grams of protein. And can you take this whole thing so that it's on the screen? 
This will be pinned up in the comments to you guys. I really think that if I had um, egg whites that were fresher, they would have fluffed up better, but it feels good. It feels like a good loaf. So let's measure out the beef that I'm gonna use today. Super simple, easy meal, you guys. As a matter of fact, I wanna change this just to ounces. <coughs> I want to get about eight ounces. There we go. Eight ounces, so that's four for Harry, four for me. Leaves us with plenty to do. I'm going to turn my oven on high. Move this out of the way. And while this is heating up, you guys, I want to thank all of the keto folks that Harry and I watch uh, throughout the years that have brought the protein, high protein bread to fruition, to life. Thank you for the Amrics. Thank you to um, Indigo Neely. Thank you, uh, Lindsay Murphy. Thank you, Anita Ketogenic Woman. Thank you, Alan from Alan's World. Thank you, who else do we watch? Help me out here, Harry. Janet Greta, although I don't think she's filming anymore. There's several that aren't filming anymore. Um, Chris Nashville just did a bread. Thank you for everyone for evolving the protein breads out in the community um, because I think we've taken it all to a new level from the original little lowly cloud bread that Dr. Atkins made a way long time ago with eggs and cottage cheese. And I think everybody has kind of found their niche. I think Indigo Neely is queen of bread and buns. That girl has made more experiments than I can count, I think. So I want to thank everyone in the community. I don't know if you've done this exact same one or not. I just came up with it because of the BBBE breads that I've done in the past and taken away some of the ingredients just to make it more really hardcore carnivore, really hardcore um, BBBE for this purpose. Now note to self, like I said, instead of using a cup of eggs, egg whites raw, and a third of a cup of the egg white powder, you can use 120 grams of egg white protein powder if you have that in your cupboard. If you still have egg yolk powder, you can do 16 grams or one tablespoon instead of a whole egg yolk. You can use the butter, powdered butter, of which I have like seven different varieties in my back pantry, and use a tablespoon of that instead. Matter of fact, the next loaf I make, I'm gonna use my recipe, and instead of the raw, real products, like the real butter, the raw egg yolk, and the raw egg, I'm going to do it with the powdered goods that I still have, and we will see the difference, and I will share that with everyone. But that'll be the next spread that I make. How does that sound to everybody? Now, what you wanna do is you wanna get this, your butter melted, or your tallow, or your lard, you know, your bacon grease, whichever one you want. Now here's what I did the other day, and it turned out really tasty. Take your eggs and crack them and just lay them on your, I need a, I need a paper towel here, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, lay them, however many you want to share or do, right on top of your hamburger. You can do this with salt, ground sausage, ground turkey, whatever your minced meat, ground meat is, or mixture of meats are, just throw your eggs right on top. Come on. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna have three, Harry's gonna have four. And I'm just gonna give this a quick little, kind of a stir to kind of get these, the whites kind of out and about. Now I'm gonna cover it, excuse me. I'm gonna steam these until my egg yolks get the consistency that I want them. And then I'm just gonna flip them over really quick 
to make sure the whites are cooked, keeping the yolks soft. And that's what we're going to have to eat. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call it. What would you call it, Harry? Smash burger and eggs? Yeah, there you go. That's good. It's, 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 I don't know, a country, I don't know. I just take ground hamburger or, or bison and do this, and I really like it because the whites get cooked. Your yolk is um, soft, hopefully, that you don't overcook it, or if you don't want soft egg yolks. Um, Dr. Barry says you want your whites cooked and your soft yellow part um, not cooked. Um, so this is what I'm doing it this way. And then I'm going to slice my bread, and we're going to have buttered toast and this deliciousness. So you guys, come back when it's time to flip the yolk part, the white part. And it's just a mess. It's an egg smash. Egg and beef smash for breakfast. That's what I'm calling it. Kind of a half, but it's going to be a smash. So we'll see you guys in the next segment when I turn them, flip them, and plate them. Yes, indeed. Here we go. There it is. And you got that crispy bacony, not bacony, hamburgery, sorry. If you use bacon grease, you would. So I just flipped that one. These ones are for Harry. I'm using a spatula. I should be. Mm hmm But I'm not. There we go. I'm gonna give this for Sally's little dish and I'll give her some. Behind me. I'm gonna give this little bit to Sally. It's right there. Sally's right behind you, Harry. She heard you. I know she did. Give me what, Mom? I'm going to give you some hamburger and some eggs. How does that sound? I'll take it. You will. Now, Harry's mad at me. No, he's not. He's not mad at you. Yes, he is. He's mad because I cut the bread and didn't share it. Oh, I didn't know that. Come here, Harry. Bread is beautiful. It's nice and soft. It's moist. It's not styrofoam. It smells delicious. It smells a little bit more eggy than my other ones that I put the buttermilk and the nutritional yeast into, um, but it's gonna be really nice. So I've got those cooking and come back when I get the toast buttered and we sit down to eat, you guys. There we go. There you have it. Our smashed eggs burger and bread with butter, you guys. I used cherry smoked flavored Redmond salt. I'm using Redmond plain salt or their smoked salt. I'm not using the organic seasoned salt because it has other things in it. But you guys, doesn't that look delicious? We'll see you over at the table for a taste test. Yes, indeed. Hi, kiddo. So once we start eating, we're gonna take a real salt, a salty electrolyte tablet, each of us, but I wanna do the taste test on the bread, you guys. Now this is toasted. It's delicious. It's not dry. And I really like it. It's a little bit plainer because I'm used to the nutritional yeast and the buttermilk all giving it a better taste, more taste. But this is absolutely delicious and it's hardcore carnivore BBBE. So you guys, then you get your eggs with your smashed hamburger that's crispy on the bottom. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Doesn't smell eggy to me. Doesn't it? Mm -mm. Good. It smells butter. Oh, it's got butter on it. Yeah, yeah it smells buttery. Mm. That's good, Wendy. I know. I think it's very good, mm. and it's super easy to make, right? Yeah. That is a hearty, delicious meal any time of day. You got the crispy bits of that um, beef. Here's yours. I'll put it right next to your knife. Put a little bit on your toast. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Works, doesn't it? Works great. So for a hardcore BBBE carnivore meal, because that's exactly what you have, mm -hmm. uh, one out of 10. Okay, I'll give it an eight. Okay. The reason for that, if it has a little hot sauce on there, but see, you can't have hot sauce right now. No, we aren't. But after seven days, we might be able to. Yeah. It depends on how we you do and what we decide. Hot sauce on there? Oh, I'd give probably a nine. Yeah. Mom, do I get a, like a puppy breakfast after you're done? Dad, yeah, tell her to give me something. Yes, you do. But you need to wait. I'll save some bread. And you can have a little egg smash burger with some toast. How does that sound? Okay. Okay. Mommy's got to eat now. Oh, hurry up. Eat. <laughs> that delicious egg on top, that cherry smoked Redmond Real Salt is absolutely amazing. Yes, it is. And if you guys want to get the smoked salt or the the salty tablets we have discounts down in the description below but you guys gotta eat now yes indeed you guys that meal was extremely filling that was good. it really was it really was we've got some mail and i want to open it but we're not going to go to costco today we're going to go tomorrow i need to go out to arvita and clean out the refrigerator and get all that squared away yes i do because we got home late and we didn't go back out and do that my refrigerator is on all the time so is the freezer so i'm not worried about it but i do need to go out and do that tomorrow we'll go to Costco and tomorrow's another day but let's open some mail this is from Linda Linda L thank you so very much I'm very excited to Wendy Harry and Sally girl <laughs> thank you there's a thank you card and it says oh wow Thinking of you with heartfelt thanks, I want you to know how much you're appreciated, Linda and RC. Very, very nice. We've been longtime viewers, loving your daily shows. You two remind us of us. Ha ha. We lived in the Verde Valley for 30 plus years, now live in Norwalk, California. We grew up. I grew yeah. up in Lakewood, California. We know right where yep. you live. Yes, Me indeed. Too. Not too far from your old house. I was hoping to meet you for coffee on your last Long Beach Huntington Beach NorCal trip. Maybe one day, oh yes. And I wish we would have known ahead of time yeah. so we could have planned that. We'll let you know next time ahead of time, but you've got to let us know. Um, 1994 was a great year, Wendy. You and Harry are a crack up. That was when I was born, you guys. Crack up with your funny bantering. Gotta love Marty, right? I followed Keto Carnivore. Car ketovore keto ketovore and carnivore for about four years now and it's been a huge stabilizing factor of my cancer journey your simple meals are so easy to make especially when you're not up to cooking we look forward to seeing your smiley faces each day you bring us such joy so i hope this brings a little joy to you thank you so much linda and prayers for your complete and speedy recovery and thank heavens you found keto ketovore and carnivore during your journey with cancer because it makes all the difference in the world it truly does it does so thank you so very very much but wait, there's more. Ooh. Wow. Let's make sure there's nothing hidden. Make sure there's nothing hidden. Interesting, <laughs> huh? 
<gasps> I see something beautiful peeking through the paper. I'm trying not to look. I am trying not to look Ooh, at look this. There. How beautiful. Peacocks and butterflies. Y'all got to know I love them. Wow. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, that's really pretty. Look at this. Yeah. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Ecclesiastics. Ecclesiastics is my one of my favorite to every day. There is a season, and yes, there was a song by it, but still, that's my favorite Bible verse because there is a time for everything. That's nice, huh? Oh, oh nice. my gosh, look at this. Oh, how beautiful. Look at that. You guys, we collect Bibles. Bibles. Yeah, so this is like really something. How, how beautiful and blessed we are thank you so so very 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 much we can take this in our vita yep linda and rc thank you so much for this and i'm still hormonally emotional but this moved me we're taking this in our vita and we're gonna commit to starting at the very very beginning and we read out loud at night Harry and I do and I'm going to read something every day starting at the beginning and going all the way through some of the numbers are are very laborious oh, in, yeah. because it's the beget 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 but it's good to start at the beginning and go all the way through every once in a while and now I have a beautiful absolutely beautiful plum purple colored King James Bible for Arvita to read from you guys. I can't tell you how beautiful this is. It's absolutely really beautiful. Nice, yeah. It is. So thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. We, we are going to do this. And uh, on our travel across country, this is what we're taking with us. So thank you again so very, very much. We truly appreciate it. You guys, we are going to go ahead and close out. This video is long enough today. We'll share tomorrow what tomorrow brings. But this was day one. If we get hungry tonight, we've got leftover um, three filet mignons. We've got eggs. We've got a few pieces of bacon. And we've got the rest of our beef to eat if we get hungry. But right now, I'm full. And it's... 2.57, so I'll probably eat some filet mignon with some butter to dip it in a little bit later. Sally is here, and she enjoyed her breakfast. She had a complete meal. Yes, she did. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, come here. Come here. Come say, I know you want to say hi and goodbye and everything, right? Yes! Can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> Can you help me? Can you help me close out the video? Okay. Like? Subscribe. Subscribe. Ring, Ring that little bell. bell. Give, Give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Sally wants to finish off the day. Okay. Let me get some. You like bread, too. Yeah, I'll take a piece of bread right now. Okay. I'll get you some. Don't skip. I'm not. Look at this big piece. Sit down. Wait, wait. Oh, oh wait. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bread. Mmm. Oh, mama, that's a good. That's a good bread. Give me some more. Oh, I, 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 Say goodnight, everybody. Goodnight, everybody. Goodnight, everybody. Say goodnight, everybody. Goodnight, everybody. Mm. See you tomorrow. Yeah.